Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining. Nothing in this world is now taken for granted. And as we embracing the change and having Swamp Up virtually this year, I'm happy to welcome you to our user conference. The FOGS, the JFOG employees, has crafted an amazing, amazing uh, user conference for you and a DevOps conference. This is also a great opportunity for me to say thank you to my team. That was an awesome operation made by the FROG for the community. Nothing sounds better than your own community. So I also want to thank our speakers that prepared those amazing talks and going to share their best practices with you. And obviously, this wouldn't happen without the great partnership of our sponsors that are keep building the community with us. Just a year ago, I was standing on Swamp Up stage back in San Francisco, stating that by 2020, every company will be a DevOps company. The world has changed more than I ever could imagine. We are walking from home. Our kids are learning from home. We are expecting everything to be remoted, elastic, agile. And if this is not digital transformation, then what is? Over 50% of the global GDP will come, will be generated by companies that adopted digital transformation. So what I tell you today is that while we can, software cannot be locked down. Digital companies are growing faster because of three reasons. Number one, they adaptive, they adapt better. Number two, they are faster. And number three, they are driven by low touch. They expect to see a different kind of user experience, a different kind of user at the end that requires everything to be easy to onboard. And this new reality is here to stay. You hear it everywhere in the world. You hear it from the healthcare institutions and you hear it from software companies. This new reality is here to stay. And as we are embracing the change and becoming more adaptive, it doesn't mean that you are the change. With the rise of communities, with the rise of the software community, the open source community, the foundation, what we see is that together we are the change. And together, software is being built by developers for developers. At least, this is how we work in JFOG. We give you software that is being built by developers for you. And this was our philosophy from, from day one. We founded JFrog over 10 years ago and disrupted the market by creating a new category. Before JFrog, there was no binary management. And what we said is that when we look to the future, in a very naive way, we said that this amount of software cannot land on this infrastructure. Therefore, we have to change the rules. And we started with providing you Artifactory, a universal package management, a binary repository manager. The second step was taking it to the enterprise after the community early adopting. Taking it to the enterprise means that we had to scale with you, to scale to infinity. And when in 2013, 2014, we released the first HA version of a binary repository manager, we became a year after, two years after, the providers of the biggest Docker registries of the world, the biggest NPM repositories of the world, the biggest Java repositories of the world, because you could scale and you could trust solutions that are coming from JFrog. In 2015 and 2016, we also started to see that security start to shift left. It started to shift left, not just because of the solution, not just because of the technology, but because of the need to be faster. And the CISO of the organization became a bottleneck, therefore shifting toward the developer, expecting the developer to be a combo of someone that build, but also take the responsibility for the deployment, also gave them, the developers, the authority to build a better security in the pipeline. Building a better security in the pipeline basically means 
that you have to scan your dependencies, your metadata, you have to open images, you have to look few tier downs to your containers. We came up with the uh, X-ray in 2016, and the DevSecOps coined, the phrase was coined later this year. Universal is not a philosophy in JFOG. It's beyond that. It's, our, it's in our DNA. You called us the Switzerland of DevOps. And when we said that we are not here to educate our users, whether they want to use Java or .NET or Docker or RPM, other claim that Docker registry should come from, from one company and Maven repository should come from one company and NPM should come from one company. Obviously, you look around, those companies are not here to claim that anymore. Every company wants to have a universal solution so they can scale faster and they will have the freedom of choice. Freedom of choice means that it's not just your universal tool stack, it's also where you want to deploy it and how you want to run it. And if you want to run it on a self-hosted mode, go ahead. If you want to have it in the cloud, we will support you. You have to require an identical solution so you will not waste time in learning what these tools are doing. So having a hybrid, full hybrid solution as a self-hosted version, in a self-hosted version or in the cloud is also another layer of the freedom of choice. Speaking of which, multi-cloud, avoiding vendor lock-in, making sure that your assets are not just placed in one region, but multi-region, is the full hybrid solution. Not just hybrid, but also multi-cloud and multi-region, supported by technology that looks the same, whether it's self-hosted or in the cloud. Earlier this year, we were very excited to release the JFrog platform, the first hybrid end-to-end -end universal uh, platform to provide you all the DevOps tools from your Git repositories to your Kubernetes. But the secret of the swamp is not about knowing what will be the next milestone in the journey of DevOps. The secret of the swamp was listening to your pain and come back with a solution that serves you better than what you have in the market. Now, based on this success, I'm here to share with you the future of DevOps. And this is why we coined the, the slogan of DevOps Fast Forward to be the theme of Swamp Up 2020. I'm going to share with you the path of DevOps in the next leaps. And guess what? Again, it's going to be focused on binaries. Today, in Joab Landman, our CTO and co-founder session, you will hear about the importance of binaries, why binaries matter, and how binaries operation is going to serve you better in the continuous release lifecycle of your software and the future of DevOps. I guess you all heard by now and obviously uh, got a copy of our book, Liquid Software. This is beyond just a vision in JFrog. This is our religion. This is who we are. This is what defined JFrog. And Liquid Software, as was determined by, by Fred Simon, our co-founder and chief data scientist, Liquid Software Vision will not be fulfilled until the software will be deployed at the edge point. And what you start to hear as edge ops is where DevOps is going to. In today's presentation, presented by Dror Bersnitsky, our chief product officer, we are going to talk about the next generation of software distribution and how this is related to binaries and to release bundle of packages. We are also going to speak about fearless releases. What's the point of having a fast pipeline that produces a lot of software and deploy everywhere if it's not secure? So how can we use the metadata and the information provided to us by binaries in order to be better secure. Drobo in his session is going to cover that as well. And the automation is only a mandatory part of everything that we do with DevOps. Avi Cavale, our VP of engineering, is going to speak about the new generation of continuous integration and continuous deployment. Yes, continuous deployment and continuous integration was here five years ago, 10 years ago. Some of you use 
different tools in order to automate your software and software creation. But in today's cloud native world, you need more than these tools. You need tools that can take your software between the different gates in your DevOps pipeline and deploy it in a cloud native world. Avi Cavale is going to share with you what's the difference of a company that creates a CI CD with a binary mindset versus others. Satya Nadale, CEO of Microsoft, stated a few years ago that every company is a software company. And if this is true, then I will say that all companies will be disrupted by DevOps. We are looking forward to fast-forwarding DevOps with you. Enjoy SwampUp. Thank you.